New York Yankees fans, good morning. Again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankees fans and MLB fans, if you have been following my channel for the last two weeks, I specifically stated that I do not see the Yankees signing either Machado or Harper this offseason or ever after that. Why? Because the Yankees prefer to stay under the luxury tax. But it's not as bad as it sounds. In 2020, Nolan Arenado is going to become a free agent. Also, in 2019, the trade deadline. In my opinion, the Rockies are going to put Nolan Arenado on the trading block. Nolan Arenado, who in my opinion is the best overall Major League Baseball player, next to Trout. I'll rank uh, Arenado higher than Trout. Just because he plays the infield and just because he plays the hot corner. Also, because he is a multiple gold glove winning third baseman. And guess what? There's talk about the Yankees now skipping out on Machado and Harper specifically because they want to sign Arenado in 2020. And before the anti course Field caught says, oh, he plays in course Field. Look at his numbers. They're inflated. Uh, stop it. Nolan Arenado, in the last four seasons, there's been three seasons in a row where he has driven more than 130 RBIs. And in those four seasons, he has been snubbed for NO MVP multiple times. When obviously, one of those seasons, he should have won NO MVP. And he's still young. He has a chance to win multiple MVPs in the NO or even if he moves to the AL. The Yankees know Nolan Arenado is a stud. You put him in a big market, he's going to be more marketable than a Harper or Machado. That is a fact. That is a fact. Also, again, I'm going to tell you Yankees fans this yet again, and a whole bunch of people got mad. Who cares? Be mad. It's not me running the Yankees. The only way you can sign Manny Machado or Harper is if you move Stanton. You could not get a Manny Machado or Harper without trading Stanton. You guys know, I was the first one to tell you guys this. I said the Yankees are going to stay under the luxury tax. Fast forward now, I see a whole bunch of Yankees fans on Twitter saying, oh, how spend? He's not going to spend. This is ridiculous. This is pathetic. These are the same Yankees fans that left comments on my channel bashing me, calling me a whole bunch of names. Because, hmm, maybe I used my brain and put two and two together that the Yankees preferred to stay under the luxury tax. And even Buster Only is reporting that the Yankees are possibly going to skip out on Manny Machado and Harper. And Harper is going to re-sign with the Nationals and Machado is going to sign with the Phillies. Hey, I believe that. Like I said, the only way the Yankees could sign Machado or Harper is if you trade Stanton to the Dodgers or the Angels. So, Patrick Corbin, the native New Yorker, is traveling to the stadium today. I could see the Yankees creating dialogue with the Giants after the meeting just to, let's say, scare Corbin's agent into accepting less money. Because we all know Corbin wants to be a Yankee, and the Yankees are just going to offer him one number. If he doesn't take it, he doesn't take it. So, I could see the Yankees creating dialogue with the Giants, talk to acquire Madison Bumgarner, and then you'll see the little back and forth between Corbin's camp and the Yankees. So, Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you like this idea that the Yankees are holding out for Nolan Arenado? I think he's the GOAT. I think he's way better than Alex Rodriguez in his prime. He is natural, too. So, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you out next time.